So let's talk a little bit about the question of celebrities and anime. This has been kind of making the rounds recently, this whole idea that hmm. some um, celebrities talk about anime occasionally, they'll tweet about it, they'll yeah. mention it in an interview, hmm. and, um, you know, there's always the topic of whether somebody is a real anime fan or not, <laughs> right? But getting I'm, beyond I'm all that. I'm a real boy! <laughs> I'm a real boy! Wait, oh no, maybe I'm not. <laughs> yes, I guess not. Um, but um, kind of pushing past that, the question of would anime benefit from celebrities chatting up anime and recommending anime to their Twitter followers. Imagine Lady Gaga saying, I love Miyazaki movies. Everyone should go watch the Miyazaki movies. Ooh, you know, that would get a lot of people to check them out. It yeah. would. Uh, which people would listen to her for advice, though? I, mm -hmm. I'm kind of wondering, because there are certain uh -huh. people, uh, actors that... Um, I would listen to for buying insurance and actors I wouldn't listen to for buying insurance. Like, I'm not going to talk to Charlie Sheen about which seminary I want to go to, you know? But that's how you think. We're that's talking true. about how the average person thinks. Mm. Yeah, they, 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 yeah I'd say that's completely different. Yeah, that's, unfortunately. So, yeah, so it's an interesting uh, thing. Um, yeah, exactly. Some are far too full of themselves, and it'll just look, you know, if Charlie Sheen said to watch an anime series, everyone would go, Pfft. I don't know. That sounds good. I'm, yeah, Archer. Archer. Yeah, 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 Archer. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's I mean, not anime, Archer. but I mean, it's an animation. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I think I'd take it with a grain of salt, but I'd appreciate that they were putting it out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because I'm not going to turn away an actor because they have some belief that I don't necessarily have or behavior. But yeah. uh, it's interesting when they bring up something that I'm, I, I, I pay attention to. And I'm like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Hey, did you guys listen to that? All you people out there who don't watch anime, this guy just said something about anime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you're fans of this guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I don't know. I mean, but you know, at the same time, what if what if someone like Trump said, "Oh, I'm a big fan of uh, you know." Fairy tale. I mean, what, what, what you know, yeah. or, or Ghost in the Shell. What, what is his political view on uh, you know uh, AI? I mean, yeah. you know. That could be interesting, actually. I mean, if it would have, yeah, mm -hmm. somebody who's in the, one of the three-letter agencies. What if they're big into? Okay, there's the surveillance society that's, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> or or one of these fellows in Hollywood who's been getting into trouble for his mistreating women. Mm -hmm. uh, is he mm -hmm. recommending that harem? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Something with a lot of fan service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I, so I don't know. I mean, I guess it yeah. I guess it would depend a lot. I, I like that it gets out there, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, Harvey being the canonical example, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Point. Um, yeah, it's it's tough because on the one hand, I think, you know, um, you know what's the saying? That you know, there's no such thing as bad publicity. But that's not true. We, we all know. <laughs> and, and so, um, but, you know, hey, if, if somebody is talking about anime and pushing it out there, as Sam Jackson talked about it, Keanu Reeves talked about it, um, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's a good thing. Especially folks who are, I don't want to say legitimate anime fans, but, but folks who are... Um, they're not promoting a movie that they're in that is about anime. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not uh, self-stroking. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, Although, this is cool. Yep. When it comes to Keanu Reeves, some of the movies that he's been in feel like anime. Yeah, a Scanner Darkly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. that was that was wild. That was yeah. that was sort of like a. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, an Adobe effect <laughs> placed on real life, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I have trouble actually filing that. Do I want to file it under an animation? Do I want to mm -hmm. file it under action? I don't want to do either because it's kind of neither. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, so that's that, it's kind of cool seeing like things like that. There was a movie called The Congress, hmm. which half mm -hmm. of it was animation and half of it uh, was, well, maybe a third of it was was live action and a third of it mm -hmm. was animation and it dealt with um the actress uh uh who was uh princess buttercup um oh, yeah. I, I, i'm trying to remember her name now it, it, uh it, it slipped my mind mm. but I, i'm sure you guys will remind me in a little bit <laughs> yeah. um but it, it dealt a lot with identity of actors uh, and yeah. now with technology they can scan a person's oh, behaviors and right. movements and keep a catalog yeah. so in order to extend one's acting career they could sell off the rights to use their image, but mm -hmm. then there's all the dynamics of it, and it's like not having a right to your your voice. And yeah, your yeah, body. exactly. And I don't want to be in this kind of film, but I've already sold off my mm -hmm. image yeah. to everything except 
that and oh no. And yet you combine that with mm. the new technology of being able to replace faces in movies. Yes. Oh, that I, I was just hearing about this. Have you heard about this? They have a technology now that you can use uh, to swap out faces of characters who actually are playing in a movie with mm -hmm. your own insertion of uh, this person or that person. Mm -hmm. And if the software just goes in and, and Analyzes interpolates the angles all the different, and you know, this actor and just maps it onto the face in his shot, frame by frame, and mm. figures it out what the like eye should be. Or somebody should else be. is acting it's the part amazing. at some point. Wow. Um, I wonder if they use that for Star Wars. Like the... Uh, I, I, th yeah. I think yeah. for, for uh, Princess one. Leia's uh, just mm. a small section. Oh, right. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they said they had some a... Some of her lines, the voice sounded a little different mm. to me anyway, but... Mm -hmm. That's another thing that they're working on is yeah. they say if you if you can... They, they say if you talk for 40 minutes into these programs, they can build a catalog that will allow you to say anything. Mm. And mm -hmm. um, I, I, I can't remember the URL, but there's there's one out there where... They actually do that, and you can mm. make anybody say anything who's been in the news a lot, say a president <laughs> or a public figure, because there's enough of that 40 minutes sure. of them talking yeah. <laughs> that wow. it can be cataloged. So you can make wow. your own, yeah, I think it was something false news, mm. uh, uh, because, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah uh, totally. Um, oh. Hi, Spin. Awesome. Good to see Spin. you. Um, Spin to win. Yeah. So that's a really interesting question there, Jay, is uh, the fact that, you know, Western culture has not always been positive on anime. Yeah. Um, there's certainly been a lot of scares and concerns over time. Hmm. So would that sort of machine hmm. then work into that, where if some celebrity comes out for it, then hmm. we'll get all the people come out and say, well, no, that's bad. No, you shouldn't do that. I wonder what it does to yeah. their career. Yeah. I mean, do, do, do other folks in Hollywood say, oh, wait a second, uh, they're pushing us towards an industry that we're not getting... Involved in as much, and so I don't know. Yeah, yeah and it's tough. I mean, I know um, there's actually a thing about this just recently about how um, so Armitage the Third, mm. which came out 20 years ago, um, mm. uh, it was dubbed by Kiefer Sutherland, mm. and I forget who else, but another you know well-known actress at the time, um, and they were like, like sure, I'll do this, um, and they got got paid scale and so forth, mm -hmm. and it's one of those things where they the people producing the dub, we're like, we are willing to pay scale for this because we, we want to see this move forward. Hmm. Um, and then the problem was, like, they had they had quite a few, like, well-known Hollywood actors stop by and say, I would love to do this, Ooh. but I legally cannot be paid less than scale. Yeah, wow. that the union, non-union mm -hmm. uh, is, yeah. is kind of a struggle. There are certain yeah. areas, yeah. and even if you're union and you go to a non-union state, you're still mm -hmm. under your union contract. And yeah. It, it can get really tricky. Mm -hmm. No matter how much you want to, you, <laughs> I mean, you're going to get in trouble. Yeah. I think a few people have kind of flown under the radar using false names, but mm -hmm. if you're a yeah. popular voice, there's no escaping it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, this 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 oh, was cool. Funny. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, Fisher's saying that uh, Keanu Reeves started talking about Cowboy Bebop in an interview and some random animes that he likes. And the interviewer was like, "Please, no, well, what's going on? Uh, uh, he's speaking. He's talking talking in another language." But it's funny when you when you see that because if if you're an, a fan of anime and you've seen mm -hmm. just just a handful, you know, you don't have to like have known everything, yeah. but when you hear sudden certain words, oh, you know, it, it, oh, Naruto, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, and, I, and that's uh, <laughs> Cowboy Bebop, uh, wait, wait, uh, uh, you know, in some Japanese title, like, I haven't heard of that one, oh. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Look it up. <laughs> uh, but, but folks who haven't really been initiated mm -hmm. to, to the experience, uh, it, it's like you're t talking Greek to them suddenly, yeah. and, and it, it, it's it can sometimes be fun if you can easily grab them into it and say, well, yeah. you may not have experienced it, but there is this animated series, and you mm -hmm. describe it to them so they're not completely left kind of dangling in the wind going, oh, oh, oh. And, and you wonder if that wasn't you know, Keanu's 20th interview of the day. Yeah, he, he probably, like, right. I'm just like, going to go. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk about I'm going to mess with this interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy is uh, interviewing me. He's being, uh, okay, okay, so I'm going to just take it and see where he goes with it. <laughs> There's an interview with Weird Al that is, uh, it, where he's talking to some uh, young man who's like 22, and weird, and the interviewer is asking about Weird Al's style and, and all this and how he does these sort of family friendly. He's, he does these. He he used the term um, uh, kind of kid friendly hmm. for, for Weird Al stuff. And he said, "Well, I would say family friendly. Like I'm not Raffy." <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the guy just glazed. He didn't know Raffy. No idea who Raffy oh. was. And you can see Weird Al go. This person was born 
after Rafi's <laughs> career. Oh no! Oh no! I am so old. Oh. <laughs> you know I mean? I don't know who Rafi is. Yeah, sure, exactly. Uh, uh, a, 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 a kids artist. There's a, there's a, there's yeah, a number of different musicians. Yeah. You know, it's it's funny oh, okay. that yeah. there are different um uh, different layers of experience that whole masses of kids mm-hmm. experience yeah. growing up, like. Uh, Captain Kangaroo? Who the heck is that? Well, well, I know the guy. I mean, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, Clarabelle and uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know some of the some of the clowns or Howdy Doody. You know what? What? <laughs> you know, I, I've heard references in the history book. You know, mm-hmm. but there's there's a lot of experiences like Doctor Seuss. Yeah. Some 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 extend a little bit beyond, and they 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 kind of transcend many generations. Where some are just kind of narrow. Like the New Zoo Review was a very mm-hmm. uh, popular uh, sort of. Uh, Costume characters, yeah. people dressing up as frogs and hippos, mm-hmm. and and dancing on set. It was very uh, surreal, mm-hmm. uh, but it was a BBC thing, and it was a time uh, period piece. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, unless unless a kid gets a chance to see those in in review, yeah. it, it could be HR Puffin stuff. HR Puffin stuff. It's like I, I okay. recently went back going and back and of looking that. at that. that. Is, that is a drug trip. They right were there. puffing <laughs> stuff. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, and to be clear, by the way, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of folks, you know, it's one of the reasons why we get, you know, Keanu Reeves wants to do an adaptation of Bebop, because he mm-hmm. adores the thing. Um, you know, it's why Tobey Maguire is interested in, in working on Robotech, because he likes it. Um, so, but again, you have to walk that line of, you know, do you do you geek out about your favorite <laughs> stuff all the time? And the other problem, too, to be, to be fair, is that when they're in an interview, they're there to promote a movie. Right. Yeah, uh, always be selling. Mm-hmm. So yeah. always, <laughs> all these clues on uh, yeah. your latest, greatest project. Oh, it's the best ever. Mm. It doesn't matter whether it was like, oh man, I can't believe I made that movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's oh, like yeah. it's the best ever. <laughs> it's great going back and yeah. watching interviews of folks working on like the core and working <laughs> on um, uh, you know After Earth and all these things. Like, oh, it's a very interesting thing. <laughs> all of a sudden, like, well. Nobody else agreed. Um, <laughs> sorry, um, but it, it's really exciting to see uh, uh, actors promote the fact that they enjoy this stuff because yeah. you always wonder what is what is the fertile soil where they get their creativity from. What yeah. what do the yeah. actors look for, to for entertainment? Because they're mm-hmm. entertaining me all the time, and and, and mm-hmm. I'm amazed how many times I'll run into someone at uh, who's who's involved in the industry at one of these conventions. And they're just waiting to catch up on some of their anime, or, the, nice. or, or they'll or they'll have an interest that's completely unrelated to anime, yeah. uh, and and some, mm-hmm. so, sometimes it, it's hit or miss. And mm-hmm. and so uh, I remember hearing stories about uh, a band uh, of uh, hair metal band uh, mm-hmm. back in the '80s, uh, mm-hmm. and their 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 musicians were saying, um, "Yeah, we when we're not." playing hard rock we're listening to country music because there's a lot to it you know, it's like i never would have guessed yeah oh, you know it's like i was just watching some uh, interviews of uh, star trek next generation actors mm. and people will ask them questions at conventions about such and such that happened in this episode and they'll be like yeah i never mm. actually watched the episode <laughs> it's amazing it's, 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 sure. it's like what is it 20 years later or something it's yeah like, still yeah. never watched it mm. yeah yeah and, and a number of voice actors uh, have run into that same situation oh, yeah. i can't yeah. wait to see what the show was yeah. that i just did because right, I, right. They, they there's a thing where they'll they'll record out of sequence Mm-hmm. And okay, we've got somebody in the studio. They're going to do all those lines. Mm-hmm. You don't necessarily hear the f- person before you or after you, and that can be a little bit. You know, you don't follow necessarily the script. You have your small piece of it, but yeah. you don't mm-hmm. know the whole story. And mm-hmm. uh, well, someday it'll come out, and I'll see it, and I'll know what it was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of mind-boggling when you think about yeah. it. Well, Christian Freeman talks about that about how hard it is to play a character when you don't know anything about him or her, hmm. and you don't know anything about him or his or her relationships. Hmm. You know, it's just. He is the older brother. Go. Okay, That's how do it. I become the older brother? Well, I've been the older brother all the time. I always count him. No, no. That's why I don't like my brother sticking close to me. No. But Crispin Freeman is a fantastic actor. And uh, if anybody is interested in um, uh, voice acting, he has a really a really great website where he provides, as a service to the community, a lot of training. I mean, free. He does some paid training as well, but he has a podcast that uh, really goes into the depths of the industry that most people will never get a chance to go to. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of uh, podcasts have tried to do that, but he actually did a really good job with mm-hmm. it. So. Yeah. But kudos, cool. Crispin. Yeah. <laughs> What's his uh, podcast, uh, yeah. voice acting mastery? Is mm-hmm. that it? Okay, great. Cool. Um, check that out. 
cool. Uh, Steve Bloom. <laughs> hey. Um, yeah, you're yeah, one of the leading everything. Lincoln Park loves Gundam. I think they, 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 <laughs> yeah, they yeah. put yeah. model kits in some of their videos at some point mm-hmm. uh, in Lincoln Park. Um, mm. But. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got really yeah, yeah. It, it's it's really amazing all of these, uh, you know, how the kind of that, that crossover between between things. Ooh, anti metal. That sounds yeah, cool. Interesting. <laughs> um, interesting. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, th- there's uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they can't stop. <laughs> Tom Hanks did a uh, an interview on Kevin Pollak's chat show, mm-hmm. and it's great because Tom Hanks just being Tom Hanks. He's relaxed. Yeah. It's nothing to promote. He's just there to t- t- chat for like two oh, hours. Those are the best. Um, and he talks about what he calls it the uh, the celebrity movie gravy train. No, something along those lines. But it's, it's the promotional uh, part of making a movie. Yeah. Where he said when he was doing um, um, Forrest Gump, that lasted. I think he said for a little over two years. Wow. Yes, yeah, he was doing it. That's a lot of promotion. <laughs> and promoting just over and over. And it becomes another job, and yeah. you're not acting as much. You're, well, and, I guess to some degree. But, and yeah. worse, you know, it's what was it like on the movie? Uh. All right, for the 8,000th time, it was great. I have a tape recording of this <laughs> exactly, last interview. You know? Let me play it for you. And, <laughs> and it's, it's funny, I've, I've, I've seen. Um, most most voice actors when they go to conventions mm. get asked the same questions over and over, and yeah. they're almost always gracious and they answer the same one. Mm. But which is lovely. Afterwards, yeah. you can tell that they have heard it so many times that it's almost uh, they don't even need to be conscious to answer it. Okay, mm. my yeah. consciousness yeah. is somewhere else. Yeah. I'm gonna just let my lips go and uh, I'm gonna so hey, what you up to? You know, while I'm mm-hmm. telling all these people the same thing, it's because uh, there 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 are certain things that because of the distribution you have a limited audience you have yeah. to say it and then you have right. to say it again and then and again and again and uh, Chrisman uh, he start, he, now he starts his panels by saying some variation on um, now for those of you who want me to do a quote from a show I'll be happy to do the anime voice actor jukebox show but <laughs> the you know, show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a but that's way. not really what we're here for, you know. So let's keep that to a minimum, if you will. Ask actual questions. I am convinced George Lucas is a huge anime fan. Um, it, it, it's, it. It, it could, mm-hmm. yeah, I could, I could yeah. see that. Especially the action in the prequels is very anime. Mm. Uh, folks are jumping around and, and doing stuff. You, 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 oh you, yeah! You look at the action choreography of four, five, and six <laughs> compared to the action choreography of the Jedi in four, in one, two, and three. It's like, oh yeah, they were watching lots of anime for that one. <laughs> it just feels like that. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if John Boyega is just an anime fan. I, it, I don't know. There's something about him that makes, makes me feel that. Who do you guys think? as an actor, is probably a closet anime fan. Ooh, <laughs> I love it, but I'm not going to tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I wonder how much that breaks along gender lines. Mm. I wonder if it's harder for women to admit to admit to being anime fans because oh. it's just not what people expect. You know. Yeah. Or, 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 or even something that's more violent or mm. <laughs> yeah. right mm-hmm. yeah, I like action like movies wait that's a guy flick not a chick flick what's going on mm-hmm. yeah if, if you came out and said that you, you know, you're a huge fan of fairy tale it would just be like uh, huh fairy tale yeah, <laughs> I guess fairy tales yeah. no fairy no tale. no fairy tale <laughs> what there's only one where, 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 where'd you grow up mm, yeah um, it's like today I was telling one of my coworkers that I was going to a science fiction convention. He kind of like took a step back, like science fiction. Huh? What? <laughs> were you? Yeah, yeah. And I thought you were so level-headed. <laughs> like, you like that kind of thing? Oh, Danny Trejo's an anime fan. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I love oh. the image of Danny Trejo watching anime. There's just okay. something awesome about that. Um, just seeing, yeah, wow. Um, and um, uh, Sam Jackson is a great example because he is just so open about saying, "I like this stuff." He said, "I." I grew up watching black exploitation films and action films and Bullet and all these things, and I thought, why not just do that in my career? Um, and why not just be frank about the things I love? Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's um, a good way to do it because then you wow, don't have to worry about it. David, yes, George Lucas should should direct a live action adaptation of Legend of the Galactic Heroes because oh, all yeah. people that entire series of people standing around on bridges talking to each other. <laughs> perfect <laughs> for Lucas right now um, John Cena uh, yeah the wrestlers I can see the wrestlers being the closet anime fans yeah. um, 
I wouldn't be surprised if um, The Rock watches some anime now. You know, yeah. I could see The Rock oh. getting into it. Oh, yeah. I could see him, like, eating a bowl of cereal in the morning <laughs> and, like, sitting there right, getting right. into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, that is awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so, and that's interesting. And actually, uh, wrestling is a great example of where, you know, again, imagine if, um, yeah, imagine that audience, that oh. massive audience. Mm. Getting introduced to anime. Oh, and yeah. In there. Yeah, I mean, uh, character yeah. design. Just some of the character mm-hmm. designs overlap. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, conceptually, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Um, yeah, we get some really interesting crossovers mm-hmm. there with just uh, mm-hmm. with celebrities coming out. And so I, I do think there are there are issues, though. Like we were saying, I think mm-hmm. there are drawbacks where you are going to see a backlash mm-hmm. um, against the person personally, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to have the folks who are like, I didn't know you were an anime fan. You know, you betrayed me. Like, oh, yeah. um, uh, and also just kind of that, that general, you know, people getting used to it. But we also have the advantage that I think these days, too, I think there's a lot less of that. I think enough people now know what anime is and are aware it's of it. It's starting to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's, it's like, okay, you know, I don't get it, but whatever is, is more the tone, yeah. I think, these days. It has a little less stigma. Mm-hmm. It, I think because of the Marvel movies that American comics oh, wow. are that's really changed more the landscape. accepted mainstream. Mm-hmm. And I think that's bringing more people in. Yeah, that's bringing more people yeah. into it because they can accept a crossover from comic world to live action. Mm-hmm. And there have already been a number of, of mm-hmm. animated versions of superheroes throughout throughout okay. the years and animation <laughs> from a Japanese approach it, it, it's not a it's not a big leap then and yeah then exactly video games have brought so much to bear yeah. and yeah. even spawned their own anime series mm-hmm. so uh, that I think I think the younger generations Absolutely. have an easier time yeah I, I think you know if you, you know, <laughs> if you can play God of War and you can watch Thor you cannot tell me yeah. that anime is ridiculous. Yeah. You know? right? Sorry, <laughs> weird. Um, I love yeah, Fisher's Sam Jackson comment did, there. Sam Jackson, I did actually saw that clip at one point where somebody said, "You know, do you like anime?" He said, "Yeah, hentai, lots of hentai." <laughs> um, and you just see in his face, you're just like, "Why not?" Let me just throw that out there, see what they say. Um, no context, just no use context. The word. Just a... Well, now more, and then more the people who know are like, and then the people who don't know are like. Looking it up and like, Ooh. you know, every now and then I still run into a person who can't, who doesn't realize the distinction between anime and hentai. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. have you only been looking at porn sites? Do you, do you, do, 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 do you realize there is, that this is yeah. not the. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. They like look up anime or something and that's, and that's the first the thing they see. So then they're 34. like, oh, all the anime yeah. is hentai. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's it's really it's it's uh, it's tough. And in fairness, you know, there is a there lot is. of that art, and so it's easy for that stuff there to is. pop up, and you t- to assume that. Yeah, I I I think anyone under, yeah. I would say thirty, more or less grew up with anime. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, Pokemon came out in what two thousand, um, and that just kind of made oh yeah, anime is on the air all the time. You know, it's kind of a thing. Digimon and all those shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it became much more normal. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's absolutely true. And then you know the folks much older than that, you know, and, and you know you have folks uh, you know from say thirty to fifty or so who grew up with Voltron and you know all the other anime series of the age, Robotech. And so even if they even if they aren't fans, they know of it. So yeah, I think that's definitely. Yeah. Um, when I was a, a youngster, uh, we could only watch cartoons on Saturday morning. Uh, and the movies. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> and we liked it. Mm-hmm. That's the way we liked it. Yeah. That's all we could do. It, it we had to a, wait for Garfield. It was an interesting <laughs> evolution, though, because at some point, it was actually called Japanimation, and it got changed to anime. <laughs> oh, and oh, okay. when I was young, it wasn't quite a term that was intended to be derogatory. It was just mm-hmm. trying to describe its stylistic differences and mm-hmm. its sources. And at some point, it changed, yeah. and I, I'm kind, I, I'm kind of glad that it it did in that respect, so that it wasn't offensive to the people who it was. But I mm. never thought that it was to anybody, so yeah. I was always kind of, oh, well, what's the difference between these things? Well, it's like the, the term otaku, which originally, like, there's a lot of yeah, um, back and forth when folks started adopting that over here it, it, as to whether it would be 
seen as a negative word. Is it a shame right. or a badge of honor? Right. Or is it both? <laughs> but you know, over here, we never really had a negative connotation. <laughs> and you're absolutely right. Like, uh, Long live rock and roll. Yeah. Um, Spirit Away winning the Oscar was a, uh, definitely a, an important moment. Yeah. Folks are like, wow, they're oh, actually yeah. doing important stuff over there. Yeah. Um, cool. and, and I think mm-hmm. the general availability of... Um, hey, Burrito. Hey. The general availability oh. of Miyazaki movies mm-hmm. helped a lot. Disney bringing those over. Mm-hmm. Um, and folks realizing that Disney was kind of supporting anime in that sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, and these anime films were, were, were there and they were... I mean, lest we forget... You know, Miyazaki movies have been, like, on the shelves of Best Buy pretty much yeah. continuously <laughs> for years. That's, uh, That's true. That's um, true. And, uh, you know, thank you to Disney, basically. Yeah. So that, that has definitely helped a, a lot. Because, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's hard to to get really annoyed with Kiki's Delivery Service yeah. or Totoro <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Um, so I think that, that definitely helped. Those were the first dubs that I heard that I actually liked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they got really good actors... And I think they just handled things a little bit differently than the mm-hmm. way they were things were being done mm-hmm. in the anime industry at the mm-hmm. time. Crispin tells a great story about that, where mm-hmm. um, he got hired to to play Princess Prince Turnip in House Moving Castle, and he's like, "Oh, this is great." Um, and when Disney dubs the Miyazaki movies, they often hire one or two anime voice actors just to yeah. get them in there. Yeah. And so he 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 brought them in, and they scheduled like two hours for his <laughs> ten lines. And he was like, "Oh, you are you you are always dubbing like teenagers who work on Disney Channel." Shows. Oh yeah yeah. Right? So, so there's a lot um, of take two, yeah, exactly. take three, take five, yeah. take twenty five. So, so he comes two. in and like th- they know of him, but they're not like right, right. aware of him. And he <laughs> he goes down like, "Okay, this is your line." Beep beep beep. Doom. Hit it. Okay, on to the next line. <laughs> and, uh, and he's done in like five minutes. <laughs> Anime skill set is, is a very yeah. special s- skill set because yeah, it is. you have to have it right. You have to have your mm. timing down so it fits within that. So you yeah. have to know it and know it and not try and work it out at the time. And, and yeah. it's a very different thing than improving around mm. uh, uh, a group yeah. of microphones with a bunch of chairs. You have deadlines of lip flaps mm. and you need to make yeah. it fit and so you have to have a, a tighter skill set and mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I think it's a lot easier for someone to do anime and then come to that environment than to go the other way around yeah. and so yeah. yeah I remember him talking about that yeah. I was like yeah man that's that is and, great and that's one of the tough things with the Japanese way of doing things because mm-hmm. you are all around there but you don't have huge amounts of time for retakes mm. oh, and you got you know yeah. studio time well, expensive you know, mm-hmm. okay you got, you know, we're moving on well known voice yeah. actors involved you don't want to waste their time mm. so you, know, you can't just be constantly messing up everyone's sitting around waiting for you. Mm. Um, that seems like it's just very common <laughs> with mm. movies yeah. and television mm. here in the mm. U.S., live action, that people take a lot mm. of takes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, if, like, if you have the luxury right. of it. Uh, it, it yeah. digital and the higher build they are, the more takes they can take to get it perfect. <laughs> Kevin Pollock talks about this, where he was in a, a movie with uh, Robert De Niro. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Robert De Niro and um, directing it was... Scorsese, I think, mm-hmm. and they were in a scene, and they did the scene, and there were twenty-seven takes. Woo! And he said and every time, <laughs> De Niro was just, you know, puts this over here this time. The next time, this delivery changes slightly, and this goes over here this time. And he just every time he's just trying something slightly different. Mm-hmm. And he said, and honestly, by take three, I was bored out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought. Aren't we done? Like, isn't that <laughs> fine? Like, why? And that was his process. He just wanted to do it over and over again until he found kind of the perfect thing. Yeah. Um, and he's, you know, which is great if you're into that, but if you're you not, have the budget. Like, oh, yeah, the budget you know, to do it. Four hours. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, the thing. If you can hire an actor mm-hmm. of that level uh, for that kind of time, and and yeah. and, and one and of the things, all of the staff that are there, yeah, exactly. that you're also oh. paying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one of the things that has 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 made that more viable for more people now is digital cinema because you're not developing film. You're, you're okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, we didn't get the take, we want to delete it. And it's the same with taking pictures. Back when you had to develop film, you yeah. composed a shot because you weren't going to see how it turned out until you took it back to the lab, mm-hmm. got it developed. Yeah. And so you'd take more time because it was mm-hmm. more expensive. And so now you can just get a whole bunch of them and then mm-hmm. just choose them out in the in the end. But if you develop a good shot beforehand, then there's less on the back end. So it's yeah. all the way around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, totally. I re- this is slightly off topic. You know. <laughs> I'm the off topic girl. What can yeah, I say? That's right. But 
I was watching an interview uh, from old school Doctor Who, Doctor Who, oh, and yeah. the actors were talking about how in early BBC, you know, BBC mm. had like really strict censorship. Mm. So if in order to force them to do another take, if they messed up, they would curse. Wow. <laughs> so it just oh, became a normal no thing. Yeah. And a lot of times when you're watching outtakes now, actors do that, and I think it's just yeah. because it's like they're trained. They yeah. don't have to do it anymore, yeah. but it's like. <laughs> Cult part of the culture now. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Well, they're not going to use yeah. this take. I might as well make sure they don't. Yeah. <laughs> I get paid by the hour, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a really interesting point, actually. Um, uh, you bring up long live rock and roll, which is that I think there, there are a lot of closet DBZ fans. Um, and mm -hmm. somebody was yeah. saying up here. Um, yeah, spin to win. You're you're absolutely right. A lot of people say they don't like anime, but they like Studio Ghibli, they mm -hmm. like Miyazaki. Right. Which is funny because mm -hmm. some people have said that's not really anime because it doesn't always follow all the yeah, yeah. all the all, all yeah. the uh, um, anime stylistic approaches to things. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, exactly. But it's okay. But then you can point out stuff that's been on television for the last several decades <laughs> that they didn't realize was anime, <laughs> and you're yeah. like. Ah, yeah. you did watch it. <laughs> yeah. like totally. Speed Racer. Speed like. Racer, yeah. 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 Oh, wow. I think about Speed People Racer. People grew up with a lot of anime yeah. without knowing about it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, um, so, yeah. So I think Sony it, bought Funimation. They did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. They're getting so big. Mm -hmm. They're going to be yeah. like uh, uh, Media Galactica <laughs> at some Media point. Empire. And, yeah. Yeah. and then they'll get hacked again. Them and Hasbro. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, who knows where that's gonna go? That, that's that's boy. Yeah, that, that's I mean, unknowable. if they they like to they like to become an archive, but I don't know if, how much influence they're gonna have over content creation. Yeah. So, um, licensing, of course, that's gonna probably uh, have some influence. Well, I mean, Sony does a lot of anime, mm. so that is kind of an advantage. Mm. I mean, they're gonna have yeah. much more straight line to that stuff. And the other problem is, yeah, deeper pockets. But the other problem is, you know, then much all the non-Sony stuff. How hard is it going to be in Funimation to get that? Mm. So folks say, well, you're the enemy. We can't oh, place that. now we know. can't. Yeah. 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 Maybe, do, do you we'll think see. we'll yeah. see a rise of other, maybe, other studios? Maybe, which would maybe. not be a bad thing necessarily. Yeah, getting yeah. some competition. Some of the smaller studios that, I mean, mm. Funimation has rose, risen to the, to the point where they're the big distribution point. So mm -hmm. we might see uh, some other folks uh, um, getting in there. Yeah. And I know folks have talked about how, uh, um, yeah, they don't have any Miku. I'm surprised they haven't. Push more of that. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you know. Thank you, Ben Riley. Was. You're absolutely yeah. right. Tarantino added an anime sequence into Kill Bill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I remember. Uh, and, and, that. And, and, so he's he's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, gonna, yeah. <laughs> he's got some interest. Yeah. Um, Anyone here actually remember the Animatrix? Yeah. Oh, there we go. I love that. That was great. <laughs> I tried to show my friends at work. You like the? Uh, you, mm. you 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 like this? Check out this. Yeah. Come on, man. You're gonna mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, and and importantly, that sequence in Kill Bill, like people talked about it, and it was remarkable. But nobody, nobody was like, right. know, "How dare you?" Right. Like, okay, it's a sequence, whatever. It, it, it's it's funny that uh, uh, other uh, animation has kind of thrown in uh, homage to anime. I think there was a Simpsons episode where they did some mm. some anime mm. style, and there was there was also uh, South Park where they went into yeah. anime <laughs> mode, and uh, um, so it's it's always fun to see that because uh, other people who aren't even familiar, they may have some vague idea, oh, yeah, that's kind of pointing back to other stuff. Okay, there's mm. more. <laughs> yeah, totally. But I will say, I think mm. that Tarantino's movies are a little bit niche. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think he's one of those directors, you either love his movies or you hate them. <laughs> sure, yeah. That's actually why he made Inglorious Bastards, by the way. Um, I was just reading about this, where he, he got some review for one of his movies where somebody basically said, you know, Tarantino, like cult film director. He was like, yeah. I'm going to make a World War II drama. Screw you all, basically, you know? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna make a World War II drama. And that's what he did. He went up and he made that movie. And it looks like, 
Oh yeah, he can do that. Well, okay. Yeah. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I just don't want to all the time, but that there it is. There you go. I want to totally. see this Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Totoro homage. homage That's awesome. To, Totoro, yeah. yeah I, mean, I like Bob's Burgers. And mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, it's a sparkle. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so um, everything on the Simpsons. That's true. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. Yeah. Simpsons did it. We do it now. Simpsons did it. <laughs> it's like, exactly. Well, this has been a really interesting and, and uh, a good conversation. So thank you all very much for being part of that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs>